jewels here everybody great so what we're doing here is i've finally got the signatures from a fairy journal i'm having four signatures um there's i think there's only three pages in each well six pages because they're folded in half um so we've got like coffee dyed a digital coffee dyed digital coffee dyed digital and so on because what there is is there's that in the kit there's that coffee dyed um sheet for you to print on the back so what i want to do is and it's one of the first things i always do and i usually put it on the inside cover but i'm not i'm going to do kind of a policy pocket um but i'm going to have it open so it opens both ways and this is some of the um, print that I did with the the foam roller um, stamps that we made in our previous video and this is just probably a hundred GSM copy of paper and so I'm just going to double it up so I've cut um, You know, it goes into an A5 and I want those two joining. So it's going to come down a little bit. Um, I'm, I think that's round about roughly the, the size that I like my hinge and it's round about a centimetre. So I just folded it in both ends and I rounded the corners as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to stick these on here and I might stitch around the edges as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put Hi, that's me i'm back so i have stitched around it um so we've got that on both sides i'm not the greatest of stitches but and i've got two eyelets um because what i want to do is i want to do um i've got two circles here and i don't know whether to put a larger circle um underneath it with that through it or whether to do it that way no i think we'll do it that way with the green so what i need to do now is find the middle um So it's 14 and a half centimetres, just over five and a half, five point seven. So that's two point right. So half of five and a half, half of five is two and a half, half of five and a half is two point. So that's rough. Do you know what? I'm going to get my ruler that's got a middle in it because I think that would be the most easiest thing to do. Right, so we've got seven and a bit. Seven and a bit. And I'm just going to do a little, let me have a look. Take it down a little bit more. That's it. And the same with this one. So it was seven and a bit. Sorry. So 
so what I want is and I'm, I am going to just guess the middle um, in that one and I'm just going to poke my pin through it It's going on the outside, so it was just deciding which one to put it on. Um, you know, whether I wanted it on that one, that one, that one. I think I'm going to put it on the this one, the, the more brown tea dyed. The reason I've got different colours is I have got plans for them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this page away and open it out so that I can get it. I'm just going to ink that. Just so I can get it stuck down equally. I'm just yeah so we'll put this one down first and I'm just using um, art glitter glue I'm quite pleased with that so the the yellow baker's twine has got a knot in it I've broke one of my nails and it's such a because I've, I do have long nails all the time but now and again I break one and it's such a weird feeling touching anything with the end of the end of your finger <laughs> I get so used to using my nails in my crafting um, it's quite alien actually <laughs> and I'm tying that in a knot because I prefer it in a knot And then this just goes round. And there we are. that's that so we'll, I'll put that under something heavy so it doesn't it's beveled because I've glued another piece of paper on the back and you can see because that's starting to come off so we're just going to put some art glitter glue on that And we'll just check that one. That one seems to be all right, but we'll just bend that one. Just bend in the fibres. And if you want, you can put some little charms and things like that on the, the end of the string. I don't tend to do that until the, the last minute. Um, so that goes round. there 
and that will hold so i think what we'll do now is we will make some um i think we'll make a booklet to go in that so we want it that was six and a half by five And I'm just going to get some coffee dyed paper, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. So I've got a couple of digitals. Um, some of bits and pieces, bags and my coffee dyed paper. Now I said I wanted it six and a half by seven, so I just want to see what this is, because this is... Well, that's a bit too, a bit too small. Um, actually, would it be a bit too small? I think it would. Because I think I might need to put a belly band in inside there just to hold it in um we'll use that for something else so yeah so it was six and a half by five found a avocado dye bag there that might come in handy put these some of these are uh, uh, Roxy Creations Digitals. Now I've got some, I said coffee dyed, but I've got some um, cabbage dyed as well. So I think we'll have one of each. This is avocado dyed. Um, I think we'll have two coffee dyed. Right. So I've had these for a, a while. Um, Coffee dyed on the outside. Cabbage dyed. Coffee dyed. And avocado. And I'm just going to trim that. Alright, so I'll keep the little bits of paper. Um, the reason I brought some of the others because I wanted to do kind of a a cover for it. Um, this is some of my um, paintings. We'll just try that. Yep, yeah, it just fits in there. I think I might take a little bit more off this. Okay. And that does need stitching in, but I'm not, um, I think I'll do it on the machine, but I'll do it at a later date. So there we have our little 
notebook or scrapbook. on that page. I don't tend to put anything on these pages because obviously everything goes on there. So we want something on there and what I'm maybe is, um, I'm going to put a pocket in. Now we have got an ephemera folder. We made an ephemera folder for this and it's got all the digitals. And oh, hello. So I think we'll put that one in. That's my dog. She's just come back from her walk, so she always comes to visit me. Um I think we'll do this one. So I'm just going to cut this out so I will speed this up. And these all come with the kit. So I'm just going to fold these over. This one brought me a cup of coffee. <laughs> And because the ephemera's got lines on it, it's easy to, to mark. You can either, you know, do it on your um, scoreboard. When it's got marks, I tend to just, just do it with the ruler. There we are. And then I just fold it. Fold this one. And the corners are mated. Now one of the things I do is I always put the bottom bit at the back because when you're putting things in, um, it's going to go down the sides and if the back bits at the back it's not going to interfere but if that's there and you're putting things down the side if for any reason you haven't stuck that down properly you could get problems so i am going to ink this um and because I've just printed this off in copier paper. Normally I would print it in a, a you know something a little bit more substantial. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some washi tape or something on the back um, or another piece of paper. And all it is, is just to give this piece of paper just that little bit of strength. And I am going to put a tiny thumb notch in it as well. So I'm just moving that out the way. Turn it round so it's on the straighter edge. Yeah, and I am going a little bit over the folds, but that's fine. And a thumb notch. We just want a little tiny, just a... Yeah. 
I don't want a great big. I mean, I can do it when I make the digital. I can put a thumb notch in, but not everybody likes it. And sometimes I'm not over keen on them. Um, just depends what I'm doing. Now, what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to put that there. But I'm wanting something here. Now, I did make some... Um, I think these are a little, little bit too big. I've made some clusters. Um, and I think they're going to take it away from the pocket. I've got a small one. No, that goes there. I quite like that. Right, so we will stick that down. Um, there's also a video on um, making the clusters as well because what I used was some of the, the, the tiny journal cards that uh, come with the kit and you can either turn them, that's them. You can either turn them into clusters, journal cards, tags, little book covers, anything you want. I'm just going to stick that down there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off. Because when it's a cluster it doesn't matter. Yeah, not put it on far enough. Come on, come on. And I'm just going to take this off round here in the thumb notch. And I mean, the pocket's still only there and it is on the side, but it just pretties it up a little bit. So we'll and I am going to do, you know, do a little bit of gluing on there as well. And as I say, the, the bottom flap, the flap flap that goes under I always put it to the back and there we are It's a long time since, well, it feels like ages since I've put a journal together. I was kind of missing it because I didn't do it while I was in Cyprus. So we've got that one. We've got that one. And we've got some um, tags, tag pockets that we can put in. Put that one on. Um, we'll put that one in so there we are so you can still get plenty in there um i'm still swithering what to do on the front of this one we could put a cluster on here because i think i've got a nice green one somewhere um well, I've got one that's got a nice bit of green in. Ah, oh, there. So, I think what we'll do is we'll... Yeah, 
Yeah. I think we'll make a tuck spot out of this. So I'm just a tuck spot just where you glue two sides, a pocket where you glue three sides. And what have we got to go in the top spot? That would have been better if it had the um, butterfly on the the other side. No, I like that one. I like the colours. Well, when you pull it out, you get a surprise. So, because I don't want to make, and I will stitch this. Um, I will stitch it in on the the machine off camera. And then that goes in there. And I did say I was going to put a belly band in there, but um, should we put a belly band in there? Yeah. Just for that, if we put a belly band in, we wouldn't even need to stitch it. Um, no, I think we will. We will put a belly band in. Um, and what we'll use is we'll use some of this paper or oh, we could use some of the digital um, we've got some digital papers from the, the kit this is my most favorite one <laughs> that's why it's not a full one All right, so we've got that one, um, that one, that one, and then got that one. That one, so I think it needs to be kind of a beigey, um, color. No blue, so I think we'll use some of this, or we'll use some of that. Um, yeah, we'll use some of that one. And the one thing with the digital kit, you can always print more out if you use more of one sheet you don't have to print the whole thing out And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half just to strengthen it. This it's um I think this is 120 GSM this is printed on. And I think what we'll do is we'll do a nice uh, one a little bit thicker than paper. Alright, 
this is because the glue is still wet. So I think what we'll do is I'll wait till it dries a bit and then I'll punch it out and I'll come back to you. See you in a bit. Right, I'm back. So we've got it. And I just had to wait till it dried that little bit. Um, so we're going to fold it in there and stitch well, I'm not stitching it, no, we're going to glue it. And I'm not putting it right in the middle. What I'm going to do is just put it off the middle slightly. And we'll turn that one in And there we have it. And then if I don't get round to um, stitching the book together, it's still going to fit in there. And then we can close it up. And there we have it. So, and one of the reasons I've only got three signatures in is because I know this this is going to get quite bulky, um, because obviously it'll have something on every page. Um, so I'm having a a two inch, um, spine on this one, but it's going to have four signatures, um, stitched in. And I think I, I've seen a uh, is it Corrie Damon? or Daman. Um, she does that with just a few and I thought that was a brilliant idea so you know thank thank you for the inspiration and I hope it works for me but anyway that's everything so I will see you in the next video when we go ahead with some more pockets and dies we'll do some stenciling um, I'm going to try everything on this journal so I'll see you in the next video Bye.